Hi there, Chris here. I have this beast of a uh, federal padlock. It has a heavy plate on the bottom and a spinner. Um, let's see how big this thing is. Oops, gotta unlock the lock drawers. If I go out, I lock the lock drawers so Suki can't play with the locks. No, actually, I lock them because there's a lot of cool locks in there. Actually, there's a lot of cool locks uh, <laughs> on my table as well. That's why I need to get another tool chest. Whoa. I should have weighed this thing. Oh, let's hit millimeters, dude. Not fractions, there we go. Are we at zero? All right. It is 61 millimeters. The shackle is 11.15 millimeters. It's very heavy. Maybe I'll weigh it and put that in the comments. Um, here's the key. Rather Bill Bacardi-ish. And it's key retaining. The shackle is dead. So I have picked this, I think, twice. But I, I haven't seen what's inside of it because I couldn't figure this out. Um, but I did watch West Picks and Lock Noob. And really, it's very simple. You just push that little pin all the way down once the lock is picked. And the shackle will come out and then you can access um, a screw to take this out. This slides out. And then the core comes out. So, and I was thinking, I was thinking ahead, or trying to, that maybe that core I could s stick in this American <coughs> 3700 body, or, and, and I could stick something else in there as well. I, I love padlocks that you can keep sticking different cores in. So, what you doing, Sook? Got a toy. Let's see if I can get into this. It is, whoa, <laughs> I keep trying to drop it. Having picked it twice, it is kind of, the feel is kind of in between uh, Lockwood, one of the 334s, and a pack lock, like a six pin pack lock. So I am interested to see the pins. I have seen a couple of other ones in those other videos that I watched, what pins are in the, those. So I do have an idea, but that's the best. Okay, a little bit of a false set there. Just a little, doesn't give you big ones like Lockwood's. And it takes really light tension, and so I tend to drop my tension wrench a lot. So we'll start over. Um, but it does, it has that, you got to tickle the pins kind of like a pack lock. Okay, a bit of a false set. And I have a low pin. Um here and I have to get I gotta get five or six and I gotta get five so I have to I use this SS dev to get back there and I gotta make sure I'm all the way back and around that low pin Uh, 
And I'm going to try to set that five. I can't think of which toy she's playing with. I think I got to go back up front again before I go to the back. I think I lost something. It's not, it is not a quick pick. Uh, into the, under the, the low one. Sometimes I can, one time I did it with this pick only and the other time I had to use the, the skinnier SS dev. It's a very cool lock, just like Lockwood's and um, pack locks that once you kind of get it going, you got some good little duels with finishing it off. And it oversets too, like uh, pack locks. And I guess Lockwoods do too, but I don't ever, well, I rarely have that problem because my tension is so light that as I'm going in and out, setting and <laughs> falling out, um, the Lockwood pins, those tapered pins, will not stick hard. Does that make sense? Maybe not. I might be able to do it with this tension wrench. Okay, a little movement on the core. If I do get this, it's going to be a fairly long video because uh, the gutting and taking all the pieces out and being careful. On but we'll see. Okay, if I've done my work up front correctly, if I go, get over there. Um, then I can go in the back and I go after four and five, or five and six. I may have got five. Five is just, it. it's very minimal feedback. But you do, there are, there's gotta be spools, at least in this one, because I do get counter. So I'm just checking, 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 checking. Oh. Okay, counter on two. I think I schmoisted it. Oh, okay. Well, because it's dead, me thinks we're okay still. Let's see where we are. I'm not gonna go for two yet. I'm gonna make sure we're good back there. All right, let me go into the deep back, the out back. I think that's the high five. That was a slip off. I know, so it's a tough one. It's a tough battle we got going here. 
You want me to move my coffee so you do, you can sit down? All right, I think maybe we're gonna go for two again. Oh no. I think we're open. Okay. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, okay, don't move it too far, Chris. Yes, son of a, oh, okay. So, we are open. Um, yeah, it's just a great lock, boy. I'm gonna move the cards. Now, I'll zoom in on this and give a quick look at this bad boy. It's a one-way um, grub screw with a spring, spring pin in it. Grubs, the grub screw is not meant to come out, but the spring pin is how we get the shackle out. So let's see if we can do that part. Okay, so far so good. Got the shackle out, put it somewhere. Okay, now inside is a Torx screw or whatever. Oh, come on, don't tell me. Don't tell me I got the wrong one. Oh, feels like the right one. Man, that's tight. Okay, so far so good. Where'd you go, Sook? She didn't stay because the coffee's in the way. Sorry, Sook, but we're doing cool stuff here. I think we got that. Well, maybe not yet. No, it's still, it's a long screw. All right, genius, get in there. Oh boy. I keep falling off or what is my problem oh we got it okay so that's the <laughs> impossible to drill out little retainer nut wow there is the it doesn't have lock well it does have lock tight and it even has a little lock washer on it okay I believe yes this slides out and there's our slider, slider, no, a spinner. Oh, it's a little core. Okay, I don't think we do anything else but just pull this out. Come on, I know you wanna come out of there. Yeah, it's real greasy, so I'll get some paper towel. Come on, man. That's what we got inside. Put this somewhere. Okay, so Nick's on uh, putting that in that American because that takes a full kick, uh, the regular size kick. But I wonder if this would fit in a pack lock. Pack lock? I don't know, I'm having a brain fart forgetting what size those are. All right, we'll lock it up. We'll lock it up, take the little thing off. Clip. Sorry guys, just gonna be a long video. But I think worth it to see this cool lock. This isn't going to work. Uh, gut wrench. Like pulling teeth getting me to do this. Getting this all out. Well, come on. 
on, stick in there. You stick in there, and then I do this. Nope. Just doesn't want to stick anywhere. Uh, maybe I can hold it with my finger. Holy moly. You'd think I'd never done this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, don't screw it up now, boy. 47 minutes already. It's a Murloc length feature. Of course I'm gonna have problems with the shim. through. Okay, now I'll get the correct thingy. I really like this lock, I have to say. Okay, all pin six, <laughs> all chambers are pinned to six. There is a little ridge on the inside there. I think you can see it. Now, because these are greasy, it'll be a pain in the, you know what? Oh, there's a little ball that came out. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. So that's six. So it's, they're serrated. Like American serrated pins. I don't remember anybody's ball coming out, that little ball. And I didn't see it come out, but somebody must have. Or I'll look at the video. So just like Americans, when these are under two, I think two and below are not serrated. I think that's right. I'll get that fixed. Is this correct? No. That's correct. And you can see there's, because of that little wallowed out or part, it, uh, it grabs those serrations. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. We're gonna start at the back. Let's not lose our ball. We'll put that in seven. All right. I'm really trying to screw this up. Okay. Um, spool. Springy spring. Copper. Spool. Springy spring. Spool. Springy spring. What else we got? Ooh, standard. And oh, come on, one man. Springy spring. Ooh, an anti bump pin in two. And same spring. Looks like uh, we'll look, we'll take a close up. Looks like it might be different. And then the final one in three is a spool. And another springy spring. All right, 
anything can we see anything in there if I had a light Suki what'd you do with my light I don't know I don't know if those have little holes or not well it was right here <laughs> okay enough of that Bologna so here's the key. We'll do a close-up here. Those are the pins. Let's see if this is a different spring. That was with the anti-bump pin. Yeah, that one looks like it's a steel spring. And that's next to the copper there. It just looks, it looks like a, a stiffer spring. Anyway, that was the Federal, minus the little ball. Oh, I, I think I see where it goes. Uh, 7.30. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hit the like, make a comment, subscribe. Um, say hey to Suki. We will see you next time.